Hi everyone. Yeah, this is too late. Um, we're back on the something from nothing. Um, and today I was going to show you these. Um, it's just a simple strip that you have left over. You want them kind of, you know, a little bit stiff. You don't want the thin, thin ones. You can, um, if you're going to use it, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, now this can be a belly band on a page, this way, either way, or it can be an edging for a page. Say, put it on a page for the edging and that would show. Um, you can do it as a belly band, either way. You cut it to fit, whatever you need, um, and I'm just using punches that I have. Uh, you can freehand, square, circles, anything. I've seen people use all manner of things. Um, so I was going to do one with you. I'm going to trim this up. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. Okay. All right. And I thought I'd do some butterflies. I don't think, no, there's nothing on the other side. Okay. So, you need your little glue, doesn't matter what kind of glue, um, I'm going to use my art glitter, I'm almost out of it, I'm going to put some more in, I ordered more, but it ain't in yet, um, now I did circles, uh, scallop circles on this one, um, I have feathers here, I have bigger circles, uh, scallops, uh, just whatever you have on hand, um, all these were cut out of scraps, hearts, big hearts. Oh, we might do hearts. How about that? I got some small ones somewhere. Here they are. Let's do some smaller hearts instead of butterflies. Just take them out and uh, see what you have. Uh, you want your colors to kind of coordinate. We're just going to leave them straight. How about that? You can do them like back and forth, back and forth. But I like that. And you just want to put them on there and look at them first. Um, and not, that's backwards. This one's embossed. We don't want to do that. Okay. These are all different kinds. It, it just does not matter. Um, different sizes. You can do all kinds of sizes and shapes. Colors. Because <coughs> it's yours. You can do what you want. You can even put shinies on there. Put them on the top if you want to. Or put a bigger one right in the middle. If you're going to make it a belly band or something. That would be really cute. Um, I want something different. Mm. Well. That one's up a little too much. You just want them on the tails of it. That's why I'm yeah, there we go. May not even need that one. But there you go. And you've made uh, your edging or belly band or whatever you want to call it. Um, I do think I'm going to change out that one though. Because it's got a streak in it. Um, okay, so we're going to start at the top. And I think, it don't matter, um, I just put, put it straight down the center. I just glue straight, just put a straight down the center. Because as long as it holds, that's all that matters. And try to even it out. Okay. We're going to take this one straight down the middle. 
kind of get it at the tail of it. Okay. You want them to stay as even as possible. I mean, you can jagger them. I mean, a lot of people zigzag them. But, and I probably will stagger, like, if I do butterflies or something like that. And I'm just putting a line down the middle. Okay, I'm trying to keep it aligned. It might mess up a little, but that's okay. We don't, oh, not the shiny on that side. Hmm. Nah. I don't want the shiny. I want the light. Okay. What's this one? Oops, that's a solid. That's another thing you want to kind of stagger them where they're not. Um, nope. Well, I lost that one, whatever it was. Alright, I'm going to use this one. This was somebody had sent me and it was just a um, some either washi or it was a sticker and I punched it out. I use everything. Now this one ain't the same shape. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Is this just an oddball? One of those oddball hearts? And then this one goes here. And there we go. I have my belly band. A little bit of glue there. Isn't that cute? I'd love to use that in the thing. And like I say, if it's a small journal, you can just cut it. Um, you can do it up and down so it fills your page. Or on the edge. And I'll probably use this for like an edge or a belly band. Uh, for my February journal. So I'll keep that. Put that away. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um... And uh, like I said, I mean, you can use circles, squares, and uh, make you some belly bands and have them on hand. Um, it gets rid of a lot of your punches. It gets rid of a lot of scrap papers. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do is use anything. Um, just take something uh, that's nothing and make something out of it. I even kept all my little punches that I punched my circles out of um, because I can use those and punch my um, reinforce uh, eyelet reinforcer punch and use it to finish up these. So that's probably what I'll be doing today. But anyway, um, y'all be seeing these on Wednesdays. I will be doing them on Wednesdays or have them uploaded for Wednesdays. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope y'all are enjoying this series. Um, I don't know how long it's going to go. <laughs> um, I'm hoping we're just doing it once a week. Um, you know, maybe I can stagger it on out uh, for you know, six months, maybe. Um, I have to come up with some ideas. Um, and I already have an idea for next week. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye.